what up, you guys? T Money back here with a new video, and today is another review. So, wow, the Infinity War, Iron Man. So, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I have this figure, and you guys, my saw you guys saw it in episode one, but I'm going to get a closer look. And, and let's see his accessories. So his accessories are these blasters, but his blaster effects, yeah, they are effects, um, are more of a teal, just all like a very light teal. But I use these because I like these more than teal. So he comes with two of those, but I use these two. So that's all of his accessories. Oh, and he comes with a pair of fists. I lost a fist. So... I'll just show you the um, repulsor blast hand, which, why doesn't it have a hinge? That is so stupid. Why can't you just give it a hinge, Hasbro? Like, come on. Okay, so, yeah, but nice detail and everything, but, so yeah. Um, let's go on to the figure. Okay, so, here is this Iron Man, and let's see the face sculpt. So here's the face sculpt, and this is just amazing. This is just, oh, wow. Like, okay, the only gripe I have with his face sculpt is that his eyes look a little too far apart. That's all I have, but that's the only gripe. And, yeah, it's just, they per they choose the perfect gold for the figure, and the red is perfect because of the suit. Because how the suit is in the Infinity War movie, it's more like a matte but shiny at the same time. They executed it on this perfectly. So yeah, um, let's actually get on to the other details. So he has some nice. Blue right there, and the nice gold. The arc reactor is um nice. They have the blue out trim with the white inside, with the white inside, and wow, just all of this magnificent details. Like wow, I'm just gonna like let you guys see this because this is just amazing. So a moment of silence. Okay, don't silence. Okay, so here it is, and the gold is nice. They perfectly put the silver in those cracks, which is amazing. And I have no paint splotches. So looking at the arms, like I get like some of the figures I get, like I either get figures with, and I just like kind of choose the figure. I don't really look at the paint ads, like. I either like get lucky and get a figure with perfect paint apps, or get a figure with terrible, terrible paint apps, and that's like barely ever. Um. So yeah. Um. Wow. It's just. And the gripe that I have is that I feel like he's too short because of this. Instead of going down the tiniest bit and then going up, like, on this figure. See how they kind of, like, get, like, bigger and bigger and bigger? Like, it's down here. This is at the very top. So, he's just, it doesn't look good. And, I don't, he, has, he comes from bulky up here to really skinny, and I don't like that. So those are the only two gripes I have, but otherwise it's a perfect figure. Um he comes with no um build a figure Thanos piece, but that's okay, and yeah, it's just let's go on to the articulation. So his head moves up that much. Great for flying poses. Moves down that much. Side to side. And my head is a little wobbly. So doesn't pivot, 
moves out that much, which is, I wish it went out more, but still. Um, and my arms don't go all the way down on him, so. But moves forward, bicep swivel, double joint elbows, rotates at the wrist, but if the fist wouldn't have had a hinge, moves, doesn't even move forward. <sighs> doesn't move forward, but, <sighs> yeah, so. You get really get it crunches back though, and you really get a perfect flying pose. Like that's just good, like amazing. Rotates at the diaphragm joint and pivots, moves outward that much, forward, um, upper thigh swivel, double joint, um, knees, foot moves down, up, and the beautiful ankle pivot. So now all we have to do left is size comparisons. Okay, so here's the Infinity War Iron Man next to the Homecoming Iron Man. Mark 49 and Mark 50, I think. So, um, as you see, he's a little bit shorter. And I wish he was the same as this guy's height. Because, yes, the suit is slicked, so he's probably not, he's probably going to be the tad bit tinier. But he's about the same size as my Captain America. And Robert Downey Jr. is smaller, so, I mean... Chris Evans is smaller, so I wish Robert Downey Jr. was, so this, I wish this figure was taller. So, yeah, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so here is the Infinity War Iron Man next to, um, the custom of me. And I wish he was this guy's height, the custom of me height. Because that would just be kind of perfect, because this guy's probably about, I bet you guys, I bet you this guy's just barely under, like, I don't even know, like, he's, like, short, though, um, so, yeah, um, but, yeah, I wish he was this guy, um, just height, that just bothers me that he's so short, so, let's go on to the next figure, er, comparison, and here he is next to Old Man Luke, so, Old Man Luke is smaller, because the Black Series figures are quite a bit smaller, so, yeah, that's all we have for today and for this review. As I'm trying to get Luke situated to go back on shelf. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I really recommend this figure. Um, Comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And um, have a good day.